But when a part speaks to me, it's telling me about these kind of micro details. And as I've evolved Greg, it, you know, they become like little obsessions. Like I can't leave my trailer unless my tie is like the perfect length. I'm in the hair makeup chair and I can't do anything until my part is at the right part of my like forehead and things like that. For me, like when you bring Greg's part over an inch, like you see a part here, it's a more confident person than a part here. You know, it's like literally that difference where you part your hair can be the, the way that I look at you and see you um, can, can change. So I get obsessed with these little things and it's all, it's my only job is to like think about Greg. So as deep as I can go into it and in choosing costume and choosing the color of the tie and choosing the quality of the tie or the price of the tie, price of the suit, the brand of the suit, would he even know about this brand? Like if the costume designer presents a certain brand, it's like, is Greg at a point where he knows that or is he still buying Calvin Klein suits because he knows that brand? So yeah, those kinds of things help me feel good and help me feel like more confident walking into a scene. You're mean, <clears throat> you're mean, you're a mean old man, you're, you're a mean old bastard, uh, and you scare the life out of folks, that's your thing. You're scaring me right now, and, and that's why I don't even know how, what to do. That's the way that I find characters, is, is in those little details, it's mostly like physical details, like in Zola, um, I wanted kind of like rashes around my nose and like I had them put a little couple lesions in certain places on my arms. It's those kind of kinds of things that maybe no one notices. Like a hole in my sock, like a hole in you know in the toe, so you can see his toe when he's lying down on the bed. But it's those kinds of things that can maybe help me in a moment, and it can maybe help an audience understand the guy just a little bit more. You know, studying chin strap beards and how thick they should be. Uh, like I, I met a guy uh, when I was filming a movie in Kentucky before that, that had this amazing chin strap beard. I didn't know I was gonna play Derek. And I got Derek and I was like, a chin strap would be good. Oh yeah, that guy. And I found his Facebook page. He was just a, guy, a truck driver in Kentucky that I ended up hanging out with a couple times. Yo. Look. What the fuck? I've seen this one. Yo! What the fuck? This dude is crazy! I was gonna do this movie called Shitheads, and my character, along with a couple others, were, we were like juggalos and we were gonna kidnap. Uh, Tracy Morgan or Luke Wilson or both of them. So I wanted to really know what that was all about. And I watched some documentaries. I learned a little bit of it and the lingo and, you know, there's there's a few good documentaries about Juggalos out there. Gathering of the motherfucking Juggalos. I love this place and I love you guys and you guys and you guys. We have alcohol and we've got explosives. Let me show you how great we are. I knew going to the gathering of the Juggalos would be a great place to find out more. And it happened to be like two weeks after I got the part. The last night of the festival, I, uh, Insane Clown Posse, ICP, played. And at the end of their show, I guess, they do like a baptism of, um, of their fans with Fago. So they get like hundreds and hundreds of huge two liter bottles of Fago. They shake them up and they launch them out into the crowd. And then the crowd swarms the stage while they're still rapping. And then everybody somehow gets two liter bottles of soda in their hands and they spray it all over each other. And so everyone's drenched in um, soda, Fago soda. And so that was um, informative somehow to the character, but mostly just an incredible memory. And um, I didn't take a shower, so the next day on the plane, I just smelled like shit. There's just like root beer and orange soda, like in my shoes, like, like I was like sticky and wet still. Anyway, I don't know where I'm really going with this, but I like to do these things and maybe there's something to get out of that. <laughs>